Hey everyone, today we're making some homemade chili. I'm using some Italian sausage in this, some grass-fed ground beef, and some ground turkey. We're gonna be adding some tomatoes and beans to this and lots of spices to make it really delicious. I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after my chef joke. Why did the chili wanna start a band? Because he wanted to add some heat to the music scene. We're going to start off here by preheating a large cast iron pan over medium high heat and I'm tossing in about a pound of some Italian sausage. I got this at the meat market and it has a little basil and tomato in it already. So I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to the pan and I'm going to cook this for, you know, probably 8 to 10 minutes or until it's no longer pink and it's cooked. I like to take a couple of spatulas like I have here and break up the meat as much as possible because I want the chunks to be very small. I'm going to season up the pork with a little bit of salt and garlic powder. Here's what our pork looks like as it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and drain the meat and I'm going to put this into a stock pot. This is a very hearty chili, so now we're gonna work on some ground beef. So here I have some organic uh, ground beef, 100% grass-fed, and I'm gonna add to that about a half a pound of ground turkey. I'm gonna place both of these into the pan and cook them at the same time, because why not? I'm bringing back my two spatulas, and we're gonna break up the meat just like we did with the sausage. Once the ground beef and the turkey are done, like they are here, then we'll place those in our pot and then we're gonna cook up some onions. Let me quickly show you how to cut up an onion real fast and super fine. I always start with a half an onion and then I'll do my horizontal cuts and then I'll do my vertical slices and then I'll slice it and we end up with a nice fine dice here and sometimes I even run my knife through it one more time if I want it super fine. So back to our cast iron pan, I'm going to drizzle in another tablespoon and a half or two of olive oil over medium high heat and we're going to toss those finely chopped onions in the pan. I'll saute these for about 8 to 10 minutes until they turn a nice golden brown. While we're waiting for those onions to brown up, I'm going to show you all the ingredients that go into the chili, starting with some fire roasted tomatoes. So we'll toss a couple of cans of that into our meat mixture. Some chicken stock is next. Let's blend that in. Wine always lends a nice flavor, so we're adding a little bit of Cabernet here. We're adding some mild diced green chilies here. And you're going to want to drain these because there's a little bit of liquid, so I'll pour it in a strainer. We'll let it drain for a little bit, and then we'll toss it in our pot. I'll give that a little stir and then we'll add some tomato paste. And then you're going to want to give that a good stir to really get that mixed in. And now for a little heat, I'm adding some chili powder and some smoked paprika. I've got a combination here, so we'll just toss it right in. Ground cumin goes next. Next we're adding some freeze-dried oregano. You can use regular if you like. I just decided to try this and I'm using some freeze-dried basil. It's not organic, but it is non-GMO. So we'll add both of those in. Now here's an ingredient that really impacts the flavor of this chili. Worcestershire sauce. Boy, that's a tough one for me to say. Anyway, add some of that in there and don't leave it out. All right, we're going to give that a really good stir. And then when the onions are ready, we're going to add those as well. So here's our onions after they've caramelized for about only 10 minutes or so. Now these look perfect, they're nice and golden, and they have really great flavors. Before we add the onions to the chili, we're going to take advantage here of some more flavor. So we're going to add some fresh garlic to this, about five to six cloves, and let it saute for just about one to two minutes max. The flavor is going to be enhanced dramatically. All right, let's get those onions and garlic in the chili. If you could only smell this right now, you'd say, man, give me some of that. We're going to give this one final stir, and then we're going to let this simmer with the lid on it for a good hour. You might even want to go an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes. The longer you do it, the better it's going to taste. 
We're not going to add our beans, our pinto beans and our kidney beans until the last, say, half an hour because they're already cooked. It must be time for chef joke number two. All right, what do you call a cow with three legs? Lean beef. Normally I don't show this, but during our time of cooking that chili for an hour, I'm gonna do some cleanup. The chili has been simmering for about an hour and a half, so it's time to add those pinto and kidney beans. Since the beans are already cooked, all you're doing here is really just heating them up. So as soon as they're warm, you can start eating. This is one hearty dish that you are gonna love. And you know what? It freezes well too. So if you wanna make a nice big pot and freeze some, you can do it. Nothing goes better with chili than cornbread. I've got a delicious gluten-free recipe here for you to try. Click the link on the screen. It'll take you right to the recipe. Thanks for joining in today. I hope you enjoyed the recipe. If you did, let me know by smashing the like button. And we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.